So when you start to pair up your snakes for the upcoming breeding season, it's important for you to know exactly what you could possibly create. What's up YouTube, it's Baker. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up. We are a new ball python breeding channel. Making our transition from reptile enthusiasts over to ball python breeder from season one, well, 0.5, into maybe a full season this year. Definitely coming along, definitely moving along. We got an Instagram channel, blue underscore line underscore morphs, and my Facebook page, blue and morphs. Definitely check me out on there. DM me on there. It's kind of my personal page at this point. Um, if you're returning back to the channel, guys, welcome back. It's Wednesday, right? I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. I promise soon I'm going to start stop saying all of that. I have a mark in mind, and once I get to that mark, I'll stop giving those shameless plugs. But they kind of work, so I might just keep doing them. I don't know. Anyway, no real update going on today, guys. Uh, I do have a quick little story for you. I try to get keep you guys plugged in my day-to-day -day life. Um, so I am going to PA this Sunday to pick up that uh, that sweet, sweet girl that I'm picking up. Um, definitely check her out. I'm going to have a nice little video introducing her to the lineup. Um, but that being said, I kind of, you guys know I hustle, I do the Uber Eats thing, I work a lot of overtime at work, and I try to do what I have to do to make things possible to build my collection, build the business, build the brand, and keep this thing moving. So I actually had some stocks uh, that I bought. I bought Boeing. I bought 21 shares of Boeing at like $148 a share uh, back in March, right? They normally trade for about $360. Now, my account was worth about, at one point, it was worth about six grand in total. Had I let the, the stocks mature, they probably would have been up around eight or nine thousand dollars. However, buying this female, um, I'd rather buy this female than wait to make an extra four thousand dollars off these stocks because it might take a year and a half to two years. And let's be let's face it, with this female, I could probably make that money anyway. Plus, I really want the snake. So, today, I it was my day, I was deciding I was going to cash out my stock. Boeing was doing really, really well, guys, right? We're going up and up. I think it was up like five bucks in the morning. My overall count was up to like four grand, give or take. I decided to go downstairs into precinct gym. I was like, no big deal. I'll give it another hour and a half while I work out. Probably up another four or five dollars per share. Make me an extra 150 bucks. Cool. Whatever, right? <sighs> Literally, guys, as soon as I come up the stairs, I look at my phone and the first uh, notification I get is Boeing dropped four and a half percent in the last minute. So literally, as I was walking up the stairs, Boeing dropped like I don't know six bucks per share. It ended up costing 140 bucks. I immediately closed out all my positions and got out of there. So with that being said, guys, I had to free up some capital to go pick up that female. That's what happened to me today. So I actually cost myself that workout today cost me 125 bucks. That sucked. All right, let's get right into this video. So we're kind of piggybacking off of what I I spoke about on Monday. Well, you gotta, gotta kind of plan ahead, right? You gotta kind of create your own hets and know where you're going with a product, project rather than just kind of breeding. So I, I spoke to a few people about this recently too, and what the hell is that? Rats throwing food at me. Rats are doing good, by the way, guys. I got some leftover from uh, my boy Sal over going with pythons. They're sitting right here. I got a big breeder female, retired breeder female, about this big. And I thought I could feed off a big mom, she wanted nothing to do with it. it. Is what it is. But that being said, I found a girl. Now I was gonna get a girl from Claire. But uh, she's in the process of moving, so I, I decided I'm going to make this my female, raise her up, just because she's cool. Look at that two-tone face. She is not used to being held yet, uh, unlike my male, but isn't she cute? Right? She's going to be my female. She's chilling with that big male, hanging out, doing their thing. Anyway, let's get into this video. I'm going to talk for a minute and a half here, three, three and a half minutes actually. Anyway, so today's video is going to be about knowing what you're going to create, okay? So knowing when you're pairing your snakes or deciding to pair your snakes, know what you're going to create. I'm going to tell you exactly kind of my thought process behind it what i use which is probably what all you guys use the morph market calculator so if you don't know google morph market calculator you can literally put in genetics of one snake genetics of another snake hit the hit the button next thing you know it's going to give you a full breakdown and list of what you can possibly make what the outcome of that clutch can be the different percentages and how many and so on and so on i'm actually going to break down later in the video i'm going to show you a couple of the pairings that i have which is probably stupid i just held a I just held a rat. I'll pick up a snake. Whatever. I get bit. I get bit. It won't be the first time. Anyway, I'm going to show you, like, listen, this snake looks simple enough. This snake looks simple enough, but look how many outcomes you can possibly have. Okay, let's get into this. So first and foremost, use that Morph Market Calculator app, okay? It's on the computer, on your phone, whatever the case may be. Put in what you're going to make. And there's a few reasons for this. First and foremost, um, it's important to be able to identify what you're going to make. So let's say you, you want to breed, you know, animal one and animal two together, and you start producing these babies. Don't wait. 
get on the computer, see what you can possibly create, start being able to identify what these snakes are gonna be, right? For example, if I'm using my Coral Glow Black Assault Trick Mojave Man, which I'm gonna use later in the video, and I'm breeding him just like to a normal, be able to uh, differentiate between a Coral Glow and a Coral Glow and a Trick, or a Coral Glow and a Mojave, or a Coral Glow Black Assault Mojave, and a Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick. Start to be able, if you're gonna produce the animal, start being able to recognize what the differences are of the possible outcomes of the babies and the pairings that you're trying to create. That makes sense, right? Because you don't, you don't want to be like, you don't want to have a bunch of stuff like, I don't know what it is, okay? Got my cheat sheet here. I apologize, guys. I don't keep mean to keep looking down. I'm straight up exhausted, all right? Uh, I've been working a lot of overtime, trying to get all my overtime in this week. Anyway, um, the second thing is maybe if, let's say, piggybacking off of Monday's video, if you want to start providing for yourself for the future, start creating things for the future, then, you know, maybe look at what you're going to create this year in order to use later on. Right, so kind of piggybacking off of Monday. If I know I want to create uh, uh, Russo clowns, right? Then I know this year I gotta produce some sort of Russo head clown. Okay, so this will also help you in knowing what you're gonna produce. Will know where you're going with your future plans. So definitely keep that in mind. One of the other things that people, this is kind of the business aspect of things. I know I'm going quick, guys. I apologize. What are you guys doing here, man? They cut all up. Don't touch my girlfriend. He's saying anyway. The business side of things. Straight up, guys, if you're looking to pair snakes up, one, look how much they're selling for. Look how much they're selling for. Not only to know where you stand and if you want to produce them for X amount of money, but also know what they sell for when you produce them, right? Don't be that guy that has a snake that's worth two, three hundred bucks. You listen for 500. That being said, don't have a $500 snake and you listen for 200, right? Look at the market. See what the market's going for, and then price them accordingly, and know what you're going to price your snakes. Know that if I just have a Coral Glow, it's probably me 200 bucks, 250 bucks. Know if I have a Coral Glow Black Pastel, maybe 300 bucks. Coral Glow Black Pastel trick, trick, you know, maybe four or 500 bucks. And then the, the full, all four of those jeans, maybe 700 bucks. Know where you stand. Also, while you're doing that, you want to look at the marketability of the snake you're going to create. In other words, look, if there's... If I can have uh, pairing one and pairing two and pairing one, there's a million different snakes on Morph Market or King Snake and all the different uh, places you can sell the snakes. Of that pairing, a lot of people are producing this stuff and the availability is sky high. Then maybe, you know what, even though I really like those snakes, I really like you know pairing number two and there's not that much availability of what I can create. Maybe you start gearing yourself towards that. So maybe you can move your snakes more easily and start providing the community and the hobby with snakes that aren't really rel uh, available all the time. Does that make sense? Oh, that makes sense, right? Because maybe one pairing will give you the same snake everybody else has, but the other pairing won't give, will give you snakes that people don't have yet or less of, right? So definitely look into that. Um, That's really it. That's all I got for you guys. So let, let me show you something. I want to show you guys something uh, interesting. So if you look at, let's take, not that girl. Well, let's start with this right here, ready? We got a normal girl here, right? This is that big normal from South, and like 2,600 grams. Big girl, right? She's a normal. Let's say I pair her with, right away, I pair her with this guy right here. Don't bite me, bud. This is the male I keep using. The Core Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave Male, okay? Seems like a relatively easy pairing, right? Nothing crazy. Four genes here, she's a normal, so no genes over there. Well, normal, but you know what I'm saying. And there is 16 different outcomes just from this pairing, okay? So think about that, guys. It's a normal to a four-gene combo snake. How gorgeous is he, though? And there's 16 different outcomes that you can have with this pairing. So you got to be aware of it. So keep looking at this guy. I'm going to use him for another example, okay? 16 different pairings for a four-gene combo male to a normal female. Let's bounce over here. Get in there, honey. Now we bounce. Let's bounce. Let's bounce to this girl right here. Ready? Here's my bumblebee that I got from uh, Ant. I love, I love this girl. I think she's probably my favorite one. Look how gorgeous she is. Here's my bumblebee. Okay, spider pastel. That's what we hooked up with that male I just showed you guys. The outcome there: 64 different outcomes. That this two gene combo snake, two gene combo female, the four gene combo male can produce. 64 different combinations can possibly come out. Okay. Now let's get this even more crazy. Now I, I have told you, sorry honey. Now we spoke about this in the past where I have this girl right here. Woo, look, she's gonna tag me. She's going in the shed. So you have that Coral Glow Black Pastel Trick Mojave male I just showed you, right? Then you got this girl right here. 
which I'm 100, not 100 percent sure, pretty sure she's a banana and she pastel butter possible fire in there. Now on paper, this is another point actually I forgot to get to, right? I mean, no, couldn't, read my own, couldn't read my own handwriting. I'm not even a doctor. Listen, you have this girl here. She's got five genes in her. He's got four genes in him down there, correct? Seems like a great combination of a snake to me, right? A lot of genes going in there. You're bound to hit something nice. Well, there's actually 512 different outcomes you can create there. Five gene combo female, four gene combo male, 512 different types of snakes you can make. Do you want to try to ID those? Do you want to try to tell the difference between those? I don't. Because here's the thing too, you might be wasting some of the genes. So here's the thing you got to keep in mind. If you have another point, some genes don't work well with other genes. So if you think it's a good combination, all of a sudden you look at Morph Mark and ah, it looks like crap because some of the genes wash out the other genes, you can't tell what they are, then you're kind of wasting your time, right? Unless you really like it and you do your thing. But back to this girl right here. Could be a great combination on paper, right? Also, you bring that list up, you have 512 different outcomes. Let's be realistic. Some of these outcomes that had me five, six, seven, eight genes, maybe nine genes in them, how are you going to tell the difference between them? Right? You're not. You might have, hey, listen, you might create something that's absolutely, oh, no, no, where are you going, honey? You might create something that's, she pooped and went all in her poop. Awesome. God damn it. I'm going to spot clean after this. Anyway, you might create something that's really, really nice with all those genes, right? Or you might create an absolute mess, okay? So I decided ultimately to pair her with my banana uh, pied male, maybe hit some, you know, super banana, enchi, pastel, het pied, female, something like that, right? But all in all, guys, I hope this video kind of helped. This is my thought process when going into the season. This is how I look at what I'm going to create. I, I do pair things according to what I like, but I also like to pair things according to what's available, what they look like, how easy it is to ID them, what they're going for, what the marketability is for them. All these different aspects go into your pairing. So just keep that in mind. Start doing your research. That's what I do. I sit in Morph Market all day, and I, I try to see what my different pairings can create. So I start being able to ID these snakes as they hatch, as they pip, as I cut them open, whatever the case may be. I know, listen, there's a good chance I'm gonna hit this, good chance I'm gonna hit this, all right? Because I'm gonna do my research and check this stuff out. So definitely do that. Know what you're creating, when your parents snakes up. Hope this helps you guys out. As always, guys, be safe. Please remember, watch your six.